This video will demonstrate a Wittig reaction using a substituted benzaldehyde and benzyl triphenylphosphonium chloride. To start, find out which aldehyde you have been assigned by your instructor. Clean a Buchner funnel, rinse with acetone, and let it dry. Set up a suction filtration apparatus and gather two clean 25 milliliter Erlenmeyer flasks a stir bar, and two hot plate stirs. Weigh out 500 milligrams of your assigned aldehyde into a 25 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask. Then weigh out and add 500 milligrams of benzyl triphenyl phosphonium chloride. Last, measure out 5 milliliters of 10 molar sodium hydroxide and add it to the flask. Put in a stir bar and stir for 20 minutes. A precipitate will form. While the mixture is stirring, pre-weigh a piece of filter paper and watch glass. Also, begin heating about 20 milliliters of 95% ethanol in a beaker for later use. Set the hot plate to about 3 to bring the ethanol to a boil. Filter your product until dry by letting the vacuum run for about two minutes. Weigh the crude product and record the mass. Analyze the crude product by TLC as instructed. To recrystallize the crude product, transfer it to a 25 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask. Add 10 milliliters of the boiling ethanol and stir. Add up to 5 more milliliters of ethanol, but only add the minimum amount needed to dissolve the product. Remove the flask and place it on the bench to cool to room temperature. Do not disturb the flask and crystals will form. Then place the flask in an ice bath for 30 minutes to allow crystallization to continue. During this time, Pre-weigh your filter paper and watch glass. Suction filter the final product until dry. Weigh the product, record the mass, and further analyze your purified crystals as instructed. Good luck, and thanks for watching.